Hello and thank you for stopping by to learn more about newspaperarchive.com. We're excited to add new ways for our members to find, save, organize, and share their discoveries. And that means we're always working on improving tools and enhancing features to make your membership more valuable year after year. And while we do offer hundreds of millions of pages with billions of names and articles, it's important that we don't forget it can be overwhelming to research without the correct tools. Today I'd like to introduce a new set of tools that we have been developing, which together make up our new archive feature. We're creating a series of videos that cover the introduction of our archive feature and its associated tools so you can familiarize yourself with it and hopefully benefit from it. The paint is still pretty wet on this feature, so expect touch-ups and changes as we receive feedback and good thoughts for improvements from members like you. And those updates will be added to the video series as they're released. And now that we have a good starting point, we're excited because we'll be able to work with our members to create a feature that makes your research easier and more organized. And if we're lucky, it might even be a little fun along the way. In this first video, I'm going to walk through browsing and searching the archives as a visitor. On our website, newspaperarchive.com, you'll see that we have added an archives link in the navigation bar. That navigation bar appears on nearly all pages of our website, so you can click to visit any page from any page. So if you click on the wrong tab, uh, you can go back to it from any other page that you're on. Now it's important to note that initially we generated the list of archives to get members started using the Social, Social Security Death Index. Initially this will make it easier for members to locate and confirm the person or relative is who they're actually looking for and be able to build their own person's archive. Uh, and don't worry, you will be able to create your own as well, so you're not locked down to a, to a finite list. So let's get started. I'll click the archives link. Uh, you're going to see the archives page is pretty simple at the first step. You can search and you can browse available archives from the starting point. So let's browse to an archive to see what that experience is like. Um, the first browse listing you see here, this, this is all surnames. So how about, uh, let's go to the surname starting with the letter M. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see there's a lot of surnames for each letter of the alphabet. So if you would like and want to take the time, you could page the entire listing and you can do that with these paging buttons down here at the bottom. Um, now that we've gone to the second page here, you'll see on the M surnames. Let's pick a surname. So let's click on, how about Mabry? So what you'll see at this step is the first names associated with that surname. These are available to browse and search and at the time of opening this page right now it's updated. So as new archives are created by members or by staff members, uh, these pages will also be updated, so you'll always have the most current information available. So let's click on Amy for Amy Mabry. Now first of all, that's just a celebrity placeholder right here. That is not really Amy Mabry, she is not Marilyn Monroe. Those are there until a member claims an archive and uploads their own photo. Gives you kind of a visual thing so that way you can understand what's, what's, what's possible there. So here we see that we have 86 different results, 86 articles in our search results for newspaper collections and one different Amy Mabry archive. So that means there, right now there is only one Amy Mabry archive. If you have another Amy Mabry, you can create your own archive and we'll go into that and do a different video and those will be listed there. So if there were 10 Amy Mabry archives, for example, you would see a list of those on this page with available details to help you look at the appropriate person here. Now, since I'm a visitor and I'm not logged in, uh, I won't be able to edit or contribute or follow this person quite yet at this time. Uh, so you'll see, as a logged out member, you get a prompt that you need to join in order to take advantage of those features. So right now I can, however, view the archive. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the View Archive button and open up Amy Mabry. And here we're going to see the curated articles, which right now is zero because no one has curated anything on this Amy Mabry. And that's going to include clippings that are done where Amy Mabry is tagged in it or pages that were had search results that were saved with Amy Mabry for that specific person. And you can also click on this uncurated articles tab and that's going to give you a list of all of the or a list of some of the uncurated articles basically meaning the potential articles listed by relevancy and they need to be confirmed or they need to be clipped or they need to be discarded as this isn't the correct Amy Mabry and then it removes them from the list. So you can see everything that is already done and everything that is still kind of work left to do. So there's a lot of other features on these pages which will be a lot of other videos but for now we've successfully browsed down to an archive and as you might already guess searching is going to be a lot easier 
So let's go ahead and do a search. I'm going to go back to the archives main page and now I'm going to search for Amy Mabry. And now I've been sent right to the search result page for the person I'm looking for. So this is the same page we browsed to, we just didn't need all the steps in between. Now I can look through my list of people, in this case only one, and view whoever I'm interested in. And since there's only one, I can click view articles and I open up my public Amy Mabry page for whatever information is available there. So before I wrap up this first introduction video, let's take a quick look at a page that's going to have a lot of results and let you know about a work in progress that we know of. So we're going to go back to the archives page by clicking the link and I'm going to type in John Smith because we know there's going to be a couple of those in the archive. And let's search this guy. So here we are on John Smith and there are pages and pages and pages of John Smith's. Now if we look up here at the top, we have 1.2 whatever million articles on 17,645 different John Smiths who lived or live in 53 states and countries from 1853 to 2002. So basically that means of all the John Smith archives that we have created from the SSDI initially, excluding any ones that members have created, those are the earliest one we have known and the latest one we have known. And as members create their own, those will be added to the list as well. Currently, we don't have a way for logged out visitors to use search refinement features to go through those and kind of narrow down those individual archives. Um, that is only something right now that we've got available for logged in members, but there is a feature on the way and we'll go over that in another video once it's released. Thank you for watching this first video on browsing and searching the archive feature. Check out our next video on your new profile page overview that's connected to the archives and stay tuned for more videos to come on becoming an editor, contributor, follower, and other tools that we're introducing for this new archive effort.